spamming remark here that's coming from MOS Home Jitendra Singh. Uh, putting the forces first, effectively slamming Chidambaram and other senior Congress leaders for politics over braves. MOS for Home Jitendra Singh, of course, says that the government is in, committed to improve the situation on ground, slamming the Congress for politicizing the issue. Chidambaram, remember, had earlier said uh, that there has been an alienation of Kashmiris here, what the army has done and stated in the latest uh, Chief of Army Staff statement there that came in. Uh, let's, in fact, first listen in uh, to Mr. Jitendra Singh's remark, reaction to that, before we play out Chidambaram's original remark that provoked this. See, all that I can say for Mr. P. Chidambaram is somebody needs to remind him. Unfortunately, nobody has reminded him that what he's saying is actually he's saying for himself. It is he and his party, which has been at the helm of affairs for the last 65 years. And if there is anything wrong done with respect to Jammu and Kashmir, it is primarily the Congress party and the successive Congress governments, both at the center as well as in the state, which are to be held responsible. Mr. Jitendra Singh, of course, being the MOS uh, PMO there, making that remark, essentially reacting to Chidambaram's uh, original statement there that had come in from a for former finance minister. Let's, in fact, take, in, uh, take a listen into that reaction. But if you read the five columns together, you will get that sinking feeling that Kashmir is nearly lost. Many of you may not believe me, but Kashmir is nearly lost today. I've written four columns in foreign policy, revolving around India-Pakistan policy. And my conclusion is, if flip-flop can be called a policy, then the government of India has a policy. All right, slamming the government of India and a flip-flop policy there on Kashmir, saying that according to his observations there, uh, having, written, having written much about the fact uh, that this continuous repression, the flip-flop of policies from the center has alienated Kashmiris and that Kashmir is nearly lost. He calls it a sinking feeling, saying that the government, the center, will have to step in with a more definitive solution to that issue. Let's get in further updates. Our correspondent Abhimanyu Sharma with those details there. Abhimanyu, this of course being a retort MOS at PMO, Mr. Jitendra Singh says uh, that effectively saying what the Congress is trying to do is politicize the situation on mere hogwash. Well, exactly. That is, uh, that is a complete uh, reply which has given by uh, uh, given from the government side uh, to uh, Chidambaram's statement. Uh, of course, there has been a narrative which uh, the center uh, ha is trying to build. The center, of course, has uh, is trying to make sure that uh, the situation in the valley uh, 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 improves for the better and improves uh, so that uh, there's, uh, there's no more uh, uh, infiltration uh, even across the border, but also uh, that the situation inside the valley, the turmoil uh, diffuses, eases out, and uh, the people are taken into confidence. Of course, certain confidence-building measures were carried out in the recent past, too, uh, despite the fact that uh, the unrest in the valley last year, of course, weakened several of the measures mm -hmm. and, uh, with, with several with several uh, allegations streaming from both sides, be it from the separatists, be it from opposition parties, there were s several allegations which flew uh, thick and not only right. against the central government, but also the state government in which the BJP is also a coalition partner. So certainly uh, several allegations were pointed at the BJP and the PDP too uh, for, uh, for for the turmoil which, pre which prevailed in the valley, of course, which subsided uh, gradually, but of course took a lot of toll of lives, both of civilians as well as armed forces. And that is something, uh, even post-surgical strikes for that matter, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, wa it was intended to be a tough call, a tough signal to be given to Pakistan, but even post that, uh, the firing and infil infiltration from Pakistani end, uh, attempts of infiltration from Pakistani end uh, did not subside, and that is something which has been disturbing the security forces and also the security establishment a lot, which is also inviting comments and uh, other sorts, uh, different, uh, different sorts of comments and appeals to the central government 
to diffuse the situation not only from civil rights groups and locals of Jammu and Kashmir, but also from opposition parties. And uh, on the basis of that itself, the ire which has been directed at the central government, uh, that, uh, that has been channelized by means of uh, uh, statements made by different spokespersons of opposition right. parties in the chain of which Chidambaran's comments can be interpreted. That's right, Abhimanyu, but effectively what this reaction does is uh, put the Congress in bad light uh, because you have uh, Mr. Jitendra Singh, MOS at PMO, saying that the government continuing with that policy, of course, uh, uh, accusing the Congress for politicizing a situation which is already sensitive. Well, he's not exactly off, off the remark when he says so, because uh, most of the policies uh, have remained quite much the same with the, which uh, the central government is propagating as of now. Uh, if we if go back in the recent past when the, Congress, when the UP government was in power at the state, the national conference was still in power right. in the state, and it was an election of the government.